Welcome to a special edition of Tech Nikki Speaking. Why special? Well, I'm gonna show you how to shoot and edit that look-alike challenge on TikTok as Sailor Mars! <laughs> and we're back. I figured, when will I ever get the chance to wear my Sailor Mars costume and I love it dearly because my mom and I actually handmade this about six years ago so I'm surprised I still fit it but I figured it was perfect to wear it for this video because as you can see in the title it is the look-alike edit challenge and this video is for anybody who wants to do just any kind of look-alike edit it just so happened that when I posted my look-alike edit challenge I chose my favorite anime character of all time, Rey or Sailor Mars from Sailor Moon. The look-alike edit challenge encourages users to mix their images with a celebrity, an actor, or an anime character that you look like, and it's pretty entertaining. It's 10 seconds of video from a specific sound and if you click on the sound you can see everybody else who has done the challenge as well. So my goal today is to teach you some tricks on how you can make your own look-alike edit challenge. Let's dive right in. So first thing you're gonna need is the actual song or challenge. Now the way that I find challenges is through the sound more than the hashtag because sometimes people mistag their videos as a hashtag in order to get on the trending page. So this song specifically, I downloaded a video that was already existing and in this case you have my permission to download my video. And how you do that is just copying the link and going to a site like TT Downloader or in my case I'm using sssticktok.io and then I go in here, I insert the link then I click download and then you're able to download it with the watermark or without the watermark. You can use my video as a template for yours so every time I switch because I've taken the liberty to mark it where I want to switch it based on the beat of the sound, you're able to just switch it out and go to the point that you need as well. So the first thing you're going to do when you open your editing software of choice is you're going to create a new project. And because it is a vertical video, again, how resolution is done is you do width by height or width by length. So because the width is going to be the shorter end, this is supposed to be the 1080 and the length is supposed to be the 1920. Then we're going to press OK. And as you can see, we now have a perfectly sized working space for TikTok than trying to crop it and fit it and guess where it goes. You're going to go in and drag the download you just did, which is my video, into your project. Right click it, you're going to detach the audio because the audio is the only thing that you want to use. I utilize the sound as my guiding north star for when I want to change and transition to the next scene. And I'll show you exactly how I do this in live time. I'll click on the audio track, get my M ready to mark it where the spots in the sound are going to drop or change. And I'm going to press the space bar to start and stop the track. These are just some keyboard shortcuts. So you can see that I marked it on the downbeats. And at the very end, there's two downbeats. So there's an extra dun dun. And what I wanted to do is find a clip that makes it pretty cool. So there's a Sailor Mars clip where she's the entire time she's closing her eyes and at the very end she opens them. So right when she opens them, a trick is I will go on the clip and use my arrows to when she opens them and press the M mark. So when she is closed eyed, I'll put the M mark and now I can line it up with this audio sound. So I don't have to guess. I know exactly when she's going to open her eyes and now I can work it backwards to make sure I can fill in all the space with one to two or three more scenes if I wanted to. Now I only 
chose three scenes because for 10 seconds I didn't want it to be too crazy with all these face changes. Again, you're going to want to find clips that are more slower motion close-up scenes because you really want to be able to transition the faces as much as possible. And what I did is I just went on YouTube, I searched Sailor Mars imagery, and keep in mind that these are going to be shot in a horizontal fashion and we're only going to be taking a third of the video. So you do want to make sure that they're as high quality as possible. This was the actual widescreen clip. So if I drag this here, it's going to be right in the middle of the frame. So if you click on it and go to the right side, you'll be able to go from fit to fill and then it fills the whole screen. But now it's right in the middle. So what do you do? You go click the clip again and when you go to the transform area, just like your X and Y coordinates that we all learned in school, X is for left and right, Y is for up and down. So if you want to move the clip over to the right, we're going to go positive or you can use the scroller to scroll up on your mouse as a quick way to do that. Now let's set up all the clips that we want to imitate first. After you have marked up your sound clip and dragged in all the clips that you want and moved it over on the X and Y axes to make sure it's exactly where you want it to go, it's time to shoot your portion. To do this as easiest as possible, what I have done is I've left my editing project open because I'm going to be filming my portion on my phone. I'm able to look at the exact positioning of Sailor Mars. So when I am looking at it while filming on my phone, it will be a little easier for me to imitate her movement. Now the first 1.23 seconds of this video is the flash warning. So you can record anything that you want. I just so happen to, you know, just show the viewers in the first seconds what I'm about to do. And then when I put it in TikTok, I added the text flash warning. And I would highly recommend you do the same. Not only does it indicate to viewers that you are participating in this challenge, it also gives a fair warning to those who may get seizures from watching so much flickering. And we want to make sure that we do safe videos here as well. This is what I did for the first 1.23 seconds. And because I went down, I was like, you know what? I'm going to be creative and just transition putting my head down. So then when it starts, it goes down to up. You could do whatever you want, but I'm always about smooth transitions. It just makes you that much more professional. For those of you who are picking anime characters or people with different color eyes than you, a super simple hack is to open up Instagram stories, find the filter color eyes by Sophie, and then you're able to tap on the screen to change the eye color, which is what I did because I don't have colored contacts, but Sailor Mars has purple eyes. So fortunately there was a purple eye tool that allowed me to change my eye color when I was filming these videos. Now it's time to mix our clips with the clips we have already selected. So this is what it looks like. And then this is what I look like. <laughs> We're going to edit all of this together to make it match. Now that we have laid our clip on top of our lookalike clip, we're going to want to be able to match it up as best as possible. And how we do that, you're ready for your mind to be blown. Go and change the opacity because then it'll make it easier to see clips on top of each other. I would definitely go under 50%, but it's your preference. So now when you scrub through your videos, you're able to see what your video looks like on top of the lookalike clip at all points in time. Now we can see that we're a little bit off in that area. So what I'm going to do is just drag over the clip. Let's say my face was this big and I wanted to make it smaller. I'm able to just really adjust it to size reference so it looks proportionate. And I'm able to again utilize the Y and X axes to play around with how I want to 
match the clip. So you want to do your best to match it, but keep in mind that towards this area at the bottom, you'll be able to see when it actually doesn't fill the screen anymore. Now, because I shot on the phone, it's okay if you are smaller than your phone's frame because then you can always blow your size up, but you won't be able to shrink it down without losing pixels around the edges. So in this case, we can make our lookalike clip bigger to match my face instead of the other way around. You're gonna do this for all the other clips as well. So again, overlay your clip on top of the lookalike clip. Let's lower the opacity to less than 50%. As you can see, I'm not even looking. So I'm going to go to where I am looking and let's go ahead and drag it upon this as well. So my arms are matching hers, but what's not matching is my face. What I'm going to do is click on Sailor Mars. And then I'll use the rotation button. You can rotate it so it looks exactly in the same position as mine. And then I'm going to have to probably drag her over on the X axis just a little bit. And then I'll bring her up a little bit. But keep in mind, see, as we go too high, you'll be able to see where she's no longer in frame. So we're going to have to play with this. So an easy way to do it is match up the face as much as you like and then what happens is when you click on both your clip and the lookalike, you're able to scale it to size to make it fit the actual screen. So now you can adjust it when they're both laid on top of each other instead of having to do one at a time. Now it's time for the fun or tedious part depending on what part of editing you do. This can be very, very easy and fast for some, but for others this could be very painful. <laughs> but to make it as painless as possible, I went ahead and cut all my clips at a one frame difference to show you what it looks like if you were to hide one frame, two frame, three frames, or four frames. And what I have found is that four frames is the sweet spot. We're gonna just use the arrow button on our keyboard one, two, three, four. That's four frames. Press B for blade. We're going to make a cut. One, two, three, four. Make another cut. One, two, three, four. Make another cut. Two, three, four. Make another cut. And you're going to do it until it goes all the way to the very end. Hold the command button down and click on the ones that I want to be grayed out. What I'm going to do instead of deleting it right now, I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut V, which just hides that clip from the timeline without deleting the clip. Because then if you mess up for whatever reason, it's going to be more hassle to drag the clip out and find those clips again. And let's play it back. Perfect. And at the very end, obviously there is a, there was a bump, bump. So what I did is I matched up when she closed her eyes on the first downbeat. And then when I opened my eyes, I had it on the second beat. So when you play it back, it's a little bit more dynamic when you are able to transition and change the clip on the beats. And it's a little bit more effective that way. So now when you play it all back, and there you have it that's how you do the video and then all you do is export it to a video and depending on what device you have you may have to convert it which i have to so i highly recommend handbrake which is a free converting software that allows you to change your videos from MOV files to MP4 files, also keeping the same resolution at a way smaller sized file. I hope you enjoyed today's video and learned a trick or two whether or not you have TikTok. And if you are planning to do a lookalike edit challenge yourself, please leave a comment below. Tell us who are you going to look like? Better yet, when you post it on TikTok, please follow and tag me at Techniki Speaking so I can make sure to give it all the love it deserves because as you can tell in this video, a lot of time went into that 10 second video. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do post weekly videos on tips, tutorials, gear recommendations for you to level up your video production at home. I do hope to see you in another future video, but for now, 
This is Sailor Mars signing off. Bye! Today, I'm going to show you how to shoot and edit that crazy fun and crazy viral wipe it down challenge on TikTok. And yes, folks, I just got a TikTok. Wipe, wipe, wipe it down. Wipe, 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 wipe it down. Wipe.